nicotine pouches are the next product using fun flavours and advertising to hook Australians to nicotine, according to experts. Though illegal to import, their popularity has skyrocketed nation nationally in recent years and are now available in stores right across the country. The crackdown on vaping is in full swing. Now experts worry young Australians may switch from one vice to another and nicotine pouches are a likely replacement. And we're going to have the same issues that we had with vaping with these products. Nicotine pouches are often confused with snus, a smokeless tobacco product popular in Scandinavia. It looks like snus. Again, you've got the same little tea bag that you put in your mouth. Um, you sort of park it between your um, lips and your gums. You hold it in there to absorb the nicotine. But these bubble gum and watermelon flavoured pouches are tobacco free, but loaded with nicotine, some containing the equivalent of 10 packets of cigarettes. The number one concern is that it's highly addictive, that once you start using these products, it's really hard to stop. People do tend to get a higher risk of dental decay and, and holes in their teeth. A number of online stores and wholesalers describe the product as a healthier alternative to cigarettes and vaping, advertising to those who want to quit smoking. It's made of, made of plant fibres. Mm -hmm. So, and apart from the nicotine, you've got uh, sugars, you've got salts, uh, some flavourings, some sweeteners and just some fillers. But experts aren't convinced. I've seen nicotine pouches being promoted online that have bubblegum flavour, apple mint flavour. And of course then start immediately thinking about how they're being marketed to young people. As it stands, nicotine pouches cannot legally be imported into Australia without a prescription. But there are exemptions. For example, if the nicotine pouches are expressly indicated for smoking cessation and appear on the therapeutic goods register, which currently none do. Despite this, a number of Australian companies like Pouch City are using this exemption to sell these products to the public, moving over 30,000 cans in January alone to tobacco stores across the country. From 2022 to 2023, the seizure of nicotine pouches at the Australian border skyrocketed from just over 108,000 units to almost three and a half million. Despite this, the pouches continue to grow in popularity. Pouch City has put its own measures in place to regulate the sale of its pouches, but would like to see official government guidelines. We don't want these products ending up in the hands of children, which is why we only deal with tobacconists and retailers. Our laws need to keep pace with the development of products and not wait for it to become yet another public health crisis. The Therapeutic Goods Administration told Sky News it is monitoring and taking strong action to address instances of unlawful importation, advertisement and supply. Monique van der Hayden, Sky News.